Hello and welcome to another ASC Productions video. Today I wanted to do a video to answer a question. This is something I get <clears throat> a lot on my videos. I get a lot of questions. And I wanted to take a few moments and answer a question I've gotten quite a bit on this laptop specifically, but this applies to a lot of different laptops. I use this technique for quite a few systems. It seems to work fairly well. And I was asked, how do you open up the Lenovo 120S. And this applies to the 110S, the 100S, since they're basically the same overall design. But it also applies to a vast majority of laptops that have this similar design where the bottom plate is separate from the rest of the laptop and is affixed with screws. So I have a few different types of screwdrivers, but you notice they don't actually have bits in them. That's because I bought a kit like this with a bunch of different styles. It has flatheads, Phillips, uh, Torx, um, some Allen uh, sized ones as well. So it has a nice variety of different bits. Uh, there are more that aren't in here that I was working on another project. And so that's step one is you want to have a nice variety of bits so that when you go to unscrew the laptop screws that you match the screw head as closely to the um, screws themselves because it's very easy on some of these to strip. Uh, case in point, the Dell was an Inspiron uh, 6800. It was their business version of their XPS machine a few years ago. There's a 15.6 inch screen. Anyways, it had Torx 5 screws that you barely looked at them funny and they'd strip out. They were horrible. They were some of the worst, <laughs> some of the worst screws I've had to deal with on a laptop. So, uh, so that's step one. You want to make sure you have a screwdriver with an interchangeable bit so that you can pick a correct bit for your screws on your laptop. And the next thing you want to do is get something like this. This is an old expired gift card, so there's no balance on it. And Something like this, I get a bunch of these in the mail, not gift cards specifically, but this type of plasticky credit card style card uh, that usually come with an advertisement, uh, a guitar pick, and you can also buy kits that have uh, vinyl pick type things. Uh, I like these because they're free. They're fairly soft plastic, so you're not going to mar anything with them. Uh, and did I mention that they're free? <laughs> and I typically can get a, quite a collection of them in a couple weeks in the mail. So once you've unscrewed the laptop, I found that for most laptops it's better to start at the hinge. And you just take the little card and you stick it in between the hinge, or excuse me, the base and the side of the laptop. Now obviously it's not going to fit in now because I, I haven't unscrewed anything. But you get it in there just enough and you'll run it along and oftentimes you'll hear a pop or a click and that's the little catches on the inside. And you do that on both sides and then along where the hinge is or if there's a battery along the battery edge. And then typically from there you lift the laptop off. You still want to go along with the card and, and release each catch individually on either side. And then when you get to the front, there's usually clips in the front that it's best if the laptop picks up forward and then clips out. So that's how I've found the vast majority of laptops I've worked with. Uh, some like uh, the some of the HPs I've had, if I just had a latch and then the whole bottom comes off or a single screw on some of the Dells and the bottom just pops off. Uh, the Lenovo's, and there's usually some screws on the bottom. Then you turn the laptop over and you open it where the keyboard is actually. So um, on the ThinkPads. So there's a couple access doors on the bottom, but anything important you actually access from the keyboard section. So I can cover that in another video if there's interest in that. but. Specifically for the 110S, this is the way to do it. And a lot of laptops are this same way. So again, get yourself uh, an old gift card or uh, an old credit card or you know the, the fake ones they send in the mail. That seems to work best for me. A guitar pick or some of those other um, fancier repair kit uh, picks as well work really well. They just cost money. Get yourself a nice variety of bits and a screwdriver with an interchangeable head. One thing I really like about this specific one 
It has a flashlight, so if I'm working in a darker space, I can have light and I can see real well. I can also take the bit out and, and look at like if there's a, a number I need to read or something like that, I can light it up and read it more easily. This one is nice because this back end spins, and so I can put pressure on it and spin it if I'm getting a screw that's been stripped out a little bit or if it's a, a pretty tight screw that's hard to get out. This one's real good because you can put pressure and spin like that. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer those. And I hope you have an amazing day.